Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today, uh, coming from you from the garden because it's a beautiful day, um, I've got Phil and Teddy. Nico is currently behind the camera um, and we thought we'd film a third trimester update video. I think this was the same spot where I filmed the first trimester um, a few months ago. And currently I have six weeks left of pregnancy. Feeling very, very pregnant now. Um, and still working full time at the moment. Um, for those that don't know, YouTube is not our jobs. Um, we do work normal jobs as well. This is just a side hustle. Um, and it started purely as just a hobby and liking to share videos of pets. And has obviously grown a lot since then. Um, but yeah, so I'm still working full time. Uh, will be for a few more weeks. Baby is due six weeks today as I'm filming this. Um, and yeah, I think in my first trimester I spoke about how difficult my first pregnancy was um, and I went through all of the complications with that, um, particularly being the first thing being insomnia, which was probably the hardest thing. And I'm pleased to say with this pregnancy I've not had insomnia. It could be the difference between carrying a girl and carrying a boy. This one is going to be a boy. Um, well, I think it's going to be a boy, you know. Um, so, what was that, Ted? Is that where you're going to sit now? That's where you're choosing to sit. Um, a giant bird just flew past. We get like, I don't know if it's the eagles or hawks or something. Like, we get birds of prey in the countryside. Not, not just normal birds. Some of them are pretty huge and pretty scary. Uh, yeah, so I had a difficult pregnancy with my first baby, Mia. Um, and she, I had really bad insomnia, which was probably the hardest part, as well as like hip discomfort and that difficult actual labour. But insomnia was probably the... the the toughest thing to get through days and days without sleeping um, and being exhausted whereas with this pregnancy it's been much easier in that respect I've not had any form of insomnia um, if anything I've been sleeping lots and plenty and going to bed at like half eight nine o'clock at night and sleeping through um, and I'm so grateful for that because if I could sleep through pregnancy I would the entire thing um, but yeah, I'm still really, really active. So I've only got six weeks left, but still going out on the bike with the dogs, still walking the dogs, still doing everything I would normally do other than I think picking up Mia is probably the only thing I don't really do anymore. Um, and she's got really good at like being independent, getting into a car seat by herself. I obviously have to strap her in, but she can climb up into the car. Teddy is about to attack the camera. Milo's just hopped up. Milo. There he goes. He can always find the camera. Um, yep, standard. Every video, Milo will do this and block the camera lens. Milo? Milo? Milo, excuse me. Uh, he's going to knock the camera over in a second and that would just be so typical. Oh, someone's gone in now. Right, Ted, do you want to come up then? Come then, you can come up. Up. And sit. There you go. There you go. Ow, you're on my hair. Um, sorry if you can see Milo's lead. I actually don't know if you can or not, but it's, it's hard to get up now. Um, but yeah, I'm still really, really active, which I'm grateful for. Still able to do everything I used to be able to do. Um, Mia is becoming really, really independent, which is good as well. Um, and she is beyond excited for baby brother. Um, every day she thinks he's coming and she's actually got our friend sent her a teddy baby brother like a little boy top teddy soft toy and she pushes she uses his actual push chair the push chair that we've got for the baby <laughs> uh, and pushes that around the house um, and goes to bed with her baby brother every single night um, and it's like her temporary brother until the real one arrives um, but yeah, she's super excited. She found my hospital bag the other day, which is all packed. So we've been talking about how I'll probably be away for a couple of days in hospital. So she's she's really understanding of everything. And I'm just, I'm really excited and I'm really proud of where she is with everything. Because she's only, she's nearly three years old now. Um, there's almost going to be three years between them, about a couple of months. But yeah, she really is understanding of everything that is going on around her. Um, 
and yeah, I think she's going to be the best big sister. I really hope so. I really hope there's no like sibling jealousy or anything like that. And we'll do everything we can to avoid it. Um, but yeah, so that's um, in terms of me health wise, I don't have the insomnia. I do have a really low iron, and I also um, have been put on blood thinners, so I have to inject or Shane has to inject me every single day. Um, but other than that. I think low iron is pretty common in pregnancy anyway. You always take, everyone takes the supplements. But I'm taking three or four supplements instead of the normal, just one. Um, so that's all fine. That's all manageable. It's not to a critical level or anything yet. So that's good. Uh, the blood thinner jabs are horrific. They, like, I'm good with, I can watch somebody take a blood test. I can have COVID jabs, all of that lot. Like with that, I can watch them do it. I have no qualms with needles. But these ones that have to go into your tummy, oh they are so painful so painful and it's making me squeamish of needles and it's every single day and it will be well it's been for, going on for a long time and it'll be until i think it's either eight or 12 weeks after birth so i've got to do it for a long long time which is for, horrible but i'm hoping they'll get easier when you don't have the bump when you've got more skin to pinch and stuff um and then otherwise what else is the top date on? We're just trying to get the inside of the house ready. So the nursery's done. I'm going to film a nursery tour soon. Um, but we're just trying to get like, the inside. Like, we want to paint. Uh, we've had the kitchens redone. Um, trying to get our bedroom all set up. Um, get all the uh, clothes and everything washed and unpacked. And Shane's doing a lot of house painting at the moment. Um, just so, you know, so the fumes aren't around when the baby comes. Um... And yeah, just trying to prep everything possible before baby arrives. Um, but yeah, that's about it for the trimester update. Things are really, really good, really positive, really grateful for that. Um, we did have a, the whole house had a sickness bug the other week, which was a couple of days written out, but it was fine. Um, and we were recovered from that. Um, but yeah, that's a bump up update. If it's in shot, I don't know would stand back but this is as far as I can go um yeah and Milo's here as well Thank you. oh am I going to get kisses yep thank you thanks Milo but yeah, I think that's everything to update on like third trimester wise. So if you guys do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone.